This just into CBS Sports HQ. Manchester City has signed Jack Grealish from the Premier League foe Aston Villa. It's according to our soccer insider Fabrizio Romano. Grealish was sold for a transfer fee just north of $139 million. Conversion rate, that's $100 million. Pounds. Most expensive fee for a British player, surpassing Gareth Bale's 85 million pounds, and also eclipses Paul Pogba's 89 million for most expensive footballer for British and the Premier League. We have our soccer insider Fabrizio Romano joining us now. Fabrizio, what more can you tell us about Man City and Jack Grealish? It's a huge signing for Manchester City. Pep Guardiola really wanted him and was pushing directly with the board, with the owners, to have Jack Grealish at the club since May. He was really pushing hard also in the last weeks when the deal was not so easy because Manchester City opened official talks one week ago last Thursday directly with Aston Villa. Then on Friday, they showed an official bid for £100 million to Aston Villa to sign Jack Grealish. But timing was key in this deal because from Grealish side, they told Manchester City you have to complete the agreement with Aston Villa this week or I'm gonna sign a new contract with Aston Villa. They were offering him an important deal so that's why Jack Grealish was tempted also about staying at the club but then Manchester City completed the agreement with Aston Villa yesterday night. They signed paperwork. Today the player was in Manchester to have his medical to sign his contract with Manchester City so now everything is completed. We can consider Jack Grealish as new Manchester City player. Official announcement will arrive in the coming hours. Interesting that the timing as you mentioned worked out of of course, uh, most fans remember him from the Euros playing for the England squad. The next question to follow then still stays with Manchester City, Fabrizio. Potentially still Harry Kane on the table. What's the latest there? Yes, it's a possibility. Uh, more than one month ago, Manchester City made an official bid. They say they did, they did for Jack Grealish, 100 million pounds. It was one month ago, same amount, 100 million pounds for Harry Kane to Tottenham. Uh, they were also available to discuss about potential players to be included in the negotiation, like Aymeric Laporte or Gabriel Jesus, so different players to be included in the deal. But Tottenham said no, they want to keep Harry Kane at the club, and so they turned down the proposal from Manchester City. Now the situation is different, because Harry Kane in the last days uh, was not showing up at trainings with uh, with Tottenham so the situation is really tense between Kane and Tottenham board now in the coming days Manchester City will be waiting for the situation to be clarified but if Tottenham will change their position and will be open to sell Harry Kane this summer Manchester City will be prepared to jump also in this deal to try with a new bid so they are basically waiting this is their strategy now on Harry Kane but he's still the other main target together with Jack Grealish for Manchester City and it's up to Tottenham president Daniel Levy to take a decision now on Hurricane. All right. Certainly appreciate the very latest from our soccer insider, Fabrizio Romano. Fabrizio, thank you so much with the Manchester Focus. They have Jack Grealish, Harry Kane still to be decided. They'll be talking about this on the K Galasio podcast again. Jack Grealish in that 100 million pound number. Most expensive fee for a British player passing Gareth Bale. Also eclipsing Paul Bogba's number for most expensive footballer in British history. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.